Everyone is aware of how important it is to keep our hearts healthy, but how can you do this naturally? This video is very important to all of us, but especially important to everyone suffering from heart disease, hypertension, diabetes, or any other chronic illness. In today's video, I'll go over the eight most important ways to take care of your heart naturally. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandNavar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to receive notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need to line an appointment or quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandNavar.com. And I encourage you to stay till the end of this video where I'm gonna reveal extra tips and tricks and video links related to this topic. Symptoms of heart disease may include you know, fatigue, chest pain, shortness of breath, or no symptoms at all. And this is why it's extremely important that anyone looking to take care of their health pay close attention to this entire video, especially if you're over 30 years of age, suffering from diabetes, chronic illness, or you, know, you have, have a heart disease. So today, I'm gonna talk about eight best ways you can take care of your heart health naturally. Number one, stay active, okay? The heart is a pump, and its main job is to pump blood to the rest of the body, okay? A quick fact in order to understand how the heart works. I don't know if you knew this, but athletes have a healthy heart that is extremely efficient. Their hearts tend to have a lower pumping frequency because they have a stronger and healthy organ that needs to do less work in order to keep their bodies moving. So for example, athletes have hearts that pump around 50 times per minute while us, you know, simple mortals, have a heart that tend to work harder, pumping from 70 to 100 times per minute. So you see the difference is extreme. This is the reason why we all need to stay active, okay? It's important to stay active by adding some sort of physical activity to your daily routine. Exercise reduces chronic diseases and helps promote heart health by lowering blood pressure, heart frequency, increasing HDL cholesterol, which is good cholesterol, and improving blood circulation. So I recommend getting at least 30 minutes of exercise five times per week. Some of these exercises include, for example, walking, you know, biking, running, uh, swimming, lifting weights, or even calisthenics. If you're a person, though, who's suffering from heart condition, make sure to practice exercises uh, that are not stressful and demand, demand too much um, oxygen, okay? Number two, quit smoking, okay? I don't have to talk about, you know, how the horrors of smoking. Everybody knows of this. Um, they cause cancer, you guys, but actually, it's the leading cause of preventable illness and death. It goes without saying that you need to quit smoking in order to take care of your heart. Okay, so countless studies, again, support the fact that smoking accelerates arteriosclerosis, which is when your arteries fill with cholesterol plaques and obstruct the passage of blood to the parts of the body, including your brain, you know, heart and muscles. And yes, I know it's hard to quit smoking, and this is why it needs to be addressed physically, behaviorally, cognitively, and socially, okay? And a combination of therapies can double or triple the chances of being su successful with this. So quit smoking. Number three, take supplements, okay? Several supplements can really help out with heart disease. One of these is coenzyme Q10, okay? Ubiquinol is an excellent active antioxidant that forms in, the, in, the, in every cell in the body. But as we age, after about 20 years of age, the levels drop and our bodies start to produce less and less each year. Coenzyme Q10 supplementation lowers levels of inflammatory biomarkers, which have known to be a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. A second supplement I recommend taking is omega-3s, okay? Omega-3 fatty acids are believed to be some of the most or the best superfoods for heart health. They have anti-inflammatory, anti-blood clotting effects and reduce the risk of heart disease and possibly strokes. Okay, omega-3s have been shown to lower triglycerides and total cholesterol levels, and in some cases may be effective on cholesterol as as effective, sorry, as cholesterol low in medications. But they're also important for the brain function, you know, mood, memory, uh, joint motility, arthritis, functioning of the immune system. So very important. And a third supplement I recommend is magnesium. Okay, magnesium is the ultimate 
anti-stress nutrient, okay? It basically calms things down, functioning as a kind of relaxer. And it relaxes and dilates the arteries, which lowers blood pressure and makes it a lot easier for your heart to pump blood, okay? So very important, it improves sleep, which at the same time obviously lowers stress and helps lower blood sugar, which is a major concern in diabetes and prevents metabolic syndrome, both of which can widely increase the, the risk of heart disease. Okay, so those are the three best supplements you can take for heart health, so let's move on. Number four, heart healthy foods, okay? All the things I just mentioned are extremely important for heart health, and believe me uh, that everything needs to be practiced, but this right here, along with supplements, is one of the most important things you can do, okay? Here's a quick summary of the best foods for your heart, okay? Leafy greens, okay? Leafy greens, leafy green vegetables are packed with heart healthy nutrients like vitamin A, potassium, magnesium, and folate, okay? So add some spinach, lettuce, kale, whatever you want to your daily meals. Berries. Berries are great to reduce inflammation, normalize your blood pressure, reduce LDL cholesterol, which is bad cholesterol, and promotes a healthy heart. So strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and all the berries you can find, all right? High fiber foods, okay? Fiber has been proven to be beneficial for heart health. Uh, these help regulate and lower cholesterol levels and the risk of a coronary artery disease. These foods include, for example, oats, gluten-free grains, and quinoa, for example, okay? Herbs and spices. Several herbs have anti-inflammatory properties that support the health, you know, the body's health. Great options are garlic, uh, turmeric, and uh, cinnamon. And actually, garlic is very good when you have high blood pressure. And after watching this video, feel free to check out this other video about heart health right over here. Number five, foods to avoid. We cannot talk about diet without talking about the foods that should be avoided at all costs, okay? So let's starve off heart disease, ditch refined carbs, processed grains, okay? Cookies, muffins, crackers, sodas, you know, sweetened beverages, and trans fats like margarine or, you know, processed meats. And one very important mineral to avoid in this list is sodium. So make sure you reduce the intake of salt with every meal. Uh, wherever salt goes, you know, water goes with it. So reduce the intake of sodium to reduce retention or fluid buildup and elevate your blood pressure. Number six, reduce stress, okay? Stress can be really terrible for bodies, especially in heart disease, okay? Feel free to check out this other video on stress after this video. But to put it, in, to put it simply, you need to reduce stress levels, which can actually be quite difficult in our world today, but needs to happen. Okay, so for example, add natural stress relievers to your daily routine, like, like walking, like meditating or praying, spending some time with family and friends, or getting, getting enough sleep and exercise. It can also be very helpful to use supplements like melatonin, 5-HTP, or essential oils like ginger and lavender. Okay, I'll try all these techniques and life changes. And if you don't see results, I suggest you check, check and see with a specialist in stress re reduction, because this part of treatment is very important. Number seven, dental hygiene, okay? Yes, my friends, you heard it right, dental hygiene's for heart health. And you see, bacteria that live in our mouths are many times not considered as part of a healthy lifestyle. But just in case you didn't know, some of the bacteria in our mouths can get into the bloodstream and cause serious heart, ish heart ish issues like endocarditis, heart murmurs due to you know, heart valve inflammation, and all sorts of other diseases. So I recommend you keep a good dental hygiene uh, to guarantee good heart health. You know, floss, brush your teeth every day after every meal, and you can use bicarbonate with water and rinse your mouth after every brush, every, brush, every uh, session of brushing your teeth. Number eight, lose weight. If you're overweight and you have heart disease, it's time to lose a couple pounds. Heart disease uh, risk increases when the person has an excess of abdominal fat, high blood pressure, and high levels of cholesterol. And let's not forget that this is because your heart has a harder job having to pump blood into more body mass, okay? The less body mass you have, the less effort your heart has to make. Okay, so incredibly, many of these problems go away when patients reduce their total body mass to, to a normal range. So my best piece of advice regarding this part of the treatment is lose weight. 
Help out the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease, visit drlandivar.com. And right over here, I suggest you check out these other videos related to this topic. You will find valuable information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.